released. People loved it, but over time some criticisms started to come about. Some said it was too dark, some said it was too survival horror-y. But really, Doom 3, in my opinion, was absolutely excellent. Now, Doom 3, like with Doom 1, has an amazing modding community, although not on the same scale as Doom 1. Now, ultimately, an enterprising group of modders would actually go on to remake Doom 1, or Doom E1 to be precise, in the Doom 3 engine. And, well, to say the least, it's one of the most amazing graphical updates to a game that I've seen in quite some time. So now let's not load up our shoddies because they're always perpetually loaded and take a look at Classic Doom 3. Classic Doom 3 was released in 2007 and had an 11-man development team. And they created a remake of just Episode 1 of Doom as the Doom Wiki states that after creating Knee Deep in the Dead, they all wanted to go on to other projects. And according to ModDB, they worried about legal issues remaking the other episodes. Further, they stated that the project was started to learn how to mod for Doom 3 and felt that they'd learned all they needed to learn for making other projects. And last, and most reasonable, they grew bored of remaking other people's stuff and wanted to make their own. Gameplay is Doom standard now. You no longer have to reload and you can auto run to your heart's content. There is no flashlight, nor is there a PDA. It's just classic Doom. Rip and tear goodness. Graphically, the game looks fucking awesome. The Doom 3 engine has aged quite gracefully, I should say. Now, not all enemies from Doom 3 show up. Rather, they try to keep the enemies equivalent to the original Doom enemies. By far, the most annoying enemy in the mod is the Invisible Pinky. I seem to forget this one from Doom 3, so it might be a new enemy all around. Whatever the case may be, they are horribly annoying, as they are hard to see to begin with, and in the dark, they're even harder still to see. The darkness in the game itself is not nearly as bad as it was in Doom 3, but you still want to crank that gamma way up. Many of the power-up models have been changed. The health pickups now look like band-aid boxes, and the small health pickups now look like they did in Doom 1, and the small armor pickups now look like... Norman helmets of all things. You can also find a Berserk, but that remains the same as Doom 3 instead of it being a Berserk pack. The game also does not include the auto map from Doom 1 or 2 either, but by this point one likely has the layout of Doom E1 burned into one's brain. There are new weapon graphics for the chain gun and rocket, but not the shotgun or the pistol. In another version of classic Doom 3 you had a custom shotgun model, and sadly it looked like complete crap and its animations were completely broken. Now, in this version that you can get off of ModDB, you just have the generic Doom 3 shotgun, and while it doesn't look that amazing, it has functional animations, and it still looks good enough, I should say. The other custom models for the weapons don't look that amazing, to be perfectly honest. Yes, they look more like their Doom 1 counterparts, but they're generally low poly and aren't all that well detailed. Personally, I would prefer had they just stuck with the original Doom 3 weapons. The game faithfully recreates all the levels in Doom E1 and makes those levels look better than ever and makes the game creepy again. Some of the levels have been modified here and there to include new areas and some areas have been enhanced. Musically, the game is excellent as it has its own soundtrack of Doom 1 remixes. And this was the game that introduced me to my favorite Doom remix, the remix for the level Command and Control. And believe it or not, the game does have a little bit of story. You have the option of viewing a cutscene that sets up the story for Doom. It looks good enough, but most times I just skip the bloody thing. There are also a few story bits in the beginning of the various levels, and they are usually a bit humorous. Really? Classic Doom 3 is just that. Doom with Doom 3 graphics. And it works really quite well with them. Thus showing that despite being an early FPS, Doom still reigns supreme. It is a fairly short mod, and it can be completed in only about two hours. But it's a damn good two hours that leaves you wanting more. 
If you'd like to see me play through Classic Doom 3, check the link, as I have completed it on the Let's Play channel. And so that is Classic Doom 3, another mod that shows that Doom will never fall into obscurity. Now, if only we could have Duke Nukem reloaded, damn Pitchford. But if that does not come to pass, at the very least we have Doom in all its myriad forms. And so I am General Oz, wishing you good Quake, Shambler's Castle, and good Thief for Doom 3, whatever makes you happy. If you enjoyed watching this review of Classic Doom 3, please consider subscribing, and if possible, please consider supporting me on Patreon so I can continue to bring you these awesome reviews.